So there you go, a little DIY fast food at home hack. They come out to one point per muffin. This one is spicy, a little bit sweet. These taste like sour candy. Is it yummy? Yeah, so good. And that's gonna be a wrap on my 23 point day on the WW plan. Good morning. Is it raining? Is it raining outside? Yep, it sure is raining. I've seen those faces. I've heard all the lies. But you ain't gazing on someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said Time for Lila's favorite topping. What's your favorite? The chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. A little pinch in each one, like three or four. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to our slow, rainy morning. It has been raining for multiple days in a row. We have a little bit of cabin fever, but at the same time, I'm really glad that it's not super hot outside because our AC unit went out yesterday. So we have had windows open, our fans running, trying to keep cool. Luckily we have someone coming to look at our unit tomorrow. Hopefully it'll all be fixed then before this weekend hits and it's like 88 degrees. We've been in the upper 60s and rainy this week, so we're doing okay. But this morning we've had just kind of a slow morning waking up. Um, I'm making some pancake bites for breakfast. My girls love these because we can switch in any kind of toppings you want. You could do all sorts of fruit, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Lila loves chocolate chips, obviously, but I've been really loving adding some bits of sausage to mine. If you wanted to add just a little drizzle of maple syrup. Mo, mo, mo. Nora is asking for more blueberries. They're having a blueberry appetizer while we wait for the pancake bites to cook in the oven. Oh, more, there you go. You guys are gonna eat us out of house and home with the amount of fruit you guys take down. Do you guys both love berries? Yeah, the berry queens. What I was saying was that you could add a drizzle of maple syrup onto the ones with the sausage in them and they would totally taste like a McDonald's McGriddle. So there you go, a little DIY fast food at home hack. So while those finish off baking, I'm gonna make my profi coffee for this morning. All right, so I have my double shot of espresso in my cup, and I'm gonna be using a Premier Protein. This is in the chocolate peanut butter flavor. And then just add ice. All right, so these were in at 350 for just about 15 minutes. As long as um, a knife or a toothpick comes out clean, they're done and ready to go. What do you girls think? Thumbs up? It's a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. What do you think, Nori? You like them? 
Yummy. So how I'm tracking these is they come out to one point per muffin. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but I did enter just the base ingredients for a plain mini pancake muffin into the recipe builder on my WW app. So I put in two cups of Krusty's light and fluffy buttermilk pancake mix, one and a third cups of water, and then entered it as 24 servings because I'm doing each individual muffin as a serving just for easy tracking. So those came out to being one point per mini muffin if they're plain without toppings. But that way I can just track it in the app for breakfast and then what I did is I went back individually and added points for any additional toppings. The chocolate chip muffins come in at only two points each if you only use four chocolate chips per mini muffin. Blueberries, it's still gonna be the same because blueberries are zero points. So each of the blueberry muffins are only one point. And then I added one teaspoon of pork sausage crumbles to each one of the pork sausage muffins. So you just count those separately for however many you have. So I just had three muffins this morning, um, two sausage and one blueberry. So those three came out to five points. And then I also had the side of blueberries for zero points. And then my protein coffee coffee, which I haven't started drinking yet, but it's part of my breakfast. I put it in the fridge to chill because I like my coffee nice and icy cold. So I'll sip on that um, when the kids and I go to play upstairs in the playroom after we clean up from breakfast. But so that included total breakfast including coffee will be seven points on the WW plan. Nora's on like her fourth muffin. Is it yummy? Yeah, so good. I had one sausage, one blueberry, and one chocolate. Guess what? You got, I don't know if that's chocolate chip or blueberry on your mouth, but you got something hanging out there. You saving it for a snack for later? <laughs> These would be a great freezer meal prep, especially once we get to the school year and we are doing breakfast very early and very quickly. All right, I'm gonna get these kiddos cleaned up, our breakfast cleaned up, we're gonna go play for a while and I'll check in with you guys for more of what I'm eating today on the WW plan in a little bit. Hey guys, okay, so I am back in the kitchen, Nora's napping, um, Lila's playing upstairs in her room. Um, Lila and I this morning, we were watching some recipe videos on TikTok and we saw a hack for doing baked eggs in the oven that turn out just like hard boiled eggs, but you don't have to like go through the mess of peeling them and stuff afterwards. And along with that hack, we saw a recipe for egg salad, which to be honest, I've actually never made or I think eaten egg salad before. I've had deviled eggs. I love eggs. You guys know I share egg recipes all the time. Eggs are one of my favorite breakfast recipes. So Lila was actually the one who said, that looks good, mom, can we try that? and we are all about encouraging her trying new foods. So I said, hey, I actually have everything home for that. Why not? Let's try it today. So I thought I'd get started on it because when Nora wakes up, they're gonna be ready for lunch. So all I did was crack six eggs into this loaf pan. I did grease it with some avocado oil spray ahead of time. So apparently the trick is you put your loaf pan inside of another baking sheet and then add two cups of water to the surrounding baking sheet. So kind of like you're making a custard in a water bath. This is going in the oven at 300 for 30 minutes. Okay, and 30 minutes later, here is our hard boiled eggs in a sheet with no peeling required. This is a super simple egg salad recipe. It's gonna make about four servings. You start by chopping six hard boiled eggs. I'm adding half an avocado diced, a quarter cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, and about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. For seasoning, I'm just adding the Kinder's The Blend seasoning, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. This is a great simple egg salad recipe, but you could easily change it up to your preference, adding pickle relish or red onions, celery, or even some chopped tomato. After a good stir, we have a delicious creamy egg salad ready to use as a sandwich or on toast. Here is my lunch. I'm having my egg salad on top of a piece of bread that's toasted. Um, this is a three point slice of Sara Lee Artisano style bread. I'm only using like maybe a quarter of the mixture on my toast. Nora is having some as well and I have all of this left over yet. So the only points in the egg salad was for the avocado. And I used half an avocado for this whole batch which is four points, so if I'm only eating a quarter of it, 
That makes my avocado egg salad one point. The bread is three points. The pickles are zero. These are my favorite pickles ever. They're the Grillo's fresh pickle chips. So yummy. Add a nice little zingy zip to it. So that's a four point egg salad on toast. Zero points for these grapes. And these grapes, I picked them up at Costco last weekend and I need to remember what kind they were, but I just thought they were red grapes. I did think they were a little bit expensive for being red grapes. It was a three pound box for about $9, but these taste like sour candy. Kind of like, I've had the cotton candy grapes before, but these are totally different. They do, they taste like some sort of a grape flavored sour candy. They're so good in the freezer for a little frozen treat at night and they're zero points. They're like nice and firm and crunchy. So might be going back to Costco for more of those. We've already eaten almost all the way through them. And then I'm gonna have a Diet Coke, a nice cold Diet Coke with it. It may not be super hot outside, but because it's been raining, it is so humid and like muggy. And because we have all the windows open without the AC going, it is just like, swimming through warm bath water in our house right now. So I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm gonna get the kids finished eating lunch. And then I think we're gonna try and get out of the house for a little bit today um, to avoid the hottest part of the day. Maybe go to the library, go check out some new books, something indoors. It's hard because when it's raining, normally we would go to the park. We would have done a walk this morning, gotten some energy out, but it's like thunderstorming on and off all day. So I think the library is where it's gonna be at today. Okay, we just got caught in an epic downpour walking out of the library to our car. My mascara was like streaming down my face when I got home, so I quickly um, changed me and the girls into some dry clothes and then got Nora down for a nap. I'm so sick of this rain. It has just been pouring rain for like the last four days and I can tell how squirrely the girls are getting and it's a mess. I'm hoping we can get outside tomorrow. I think there's supposed to be a pause in the rain. If not, I'm gonna have to like look for an indoor play area, kind of place to go to with the kids because they just need to get some energy out. I'm about to sit down and start folding some laundry that I did earlier, um, but I'm gonna have a little snack. I have definitely shared these on the channel before. They're one of my all time favorite savory, salty snack go-tos. This one is spicy, a little bit sweet. They're the Harvest Snap Crisps. My favorite flavor is the mango chili lime, and you get 22 of these for only three points on the WW plan. So a little sweet and spicy, crunchy kind of snack. Um, I'm gonna get dinner started here pretty soon. It's actually gonna be really easy tonight. I have one of my frozen Trader Joe's meals that I was gonna make for a lunch meal prep, but we've gotten later in the week and we just haven't gotten to it yet. So I'm gonna make it for dinner tonight. It is a chicken and veggie stir fry, and I'm gonna make it over some Trader Joe's um, frozen rice, which is like one of my easiest go-to items in my freezer it just like pops right in the microwave for three minutes and you have perfectly cooked rice every time so anyway i'm gonna make up that stir fry for dinner in a little bit and then i still have plenty of points left for some sort of a snack tonight talk about an easy low point weeknight dinner the trader joe's shiitake mushroom chicken is so delicious and easy especially when it's paired with the frozen jasmine rice from Trader Joe's. The rice cooks in three minutes in the microwave. For the shiitake mushroom chicken, I pull out the extra packets of frozen veggies and sauce mix. And I prefer to air fry the chicken. This gives it a nice little crunch before tossing it in the stir fry sauce it comes with. So I just pop that in the air fryer on 400 for about eight to 10 minutes. And then in a deep edged frying pan, I spray some avocado oil spray for zero points. I add in my defrosted stir fry sauce. And once the sauce has warmed through and the chicken is cooked, I add the now air fried cooked chicken along with the frozen veggie packet that came with the dinner. And now to fluff it up even more for zero points, 
I'm adding some extra chopped up veg that I had left over in the fridge that I just needed to get rid of. This was left over from a veggie tray I had made earlier in the week. Raw broccoli florets, some chopped celery, and some sugar snap peas. I toss it all until everything is coated and then add the lid back on so everything steams and that sauce cooks right into the veggies and chicken. And after about four minutes, everything was ready. I added one cup of the chicken and veggie stir fry over about a half cup of the Trader Joe's rice. And this dinner came out to only five points on the WW plan. This evening I was craving kind of a sweet and savory snack, nothing too desserty. So I'm actually gonna make a watermelon salad. This is one of my favorite side dishes or snacks to have during the summertime. It's just one and a half cups of diced watermelon, which I already had prepped in my fridge. I added some crumbled feta cheese on top, some freshly sliced basil, and a nice drizzle of balsamic glaze. And that's gonna be a wrap on my 23 point day on the WW plan. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the red subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. And until next time, bye. bye.